Hello everyone, welcome to 27. So today I am driving JM's car. You might know his channel. Um, he's another lad down from here in, in England and he has an Avora 400. So we're gonna be doing a comparison. So I'm gonna be driving his 400 and comparing it to my S. He's gonna be driving my S. At the end of the video, I will put the link and uh, the clicky box for James's review as well. So make sure you stay till the end and then watch what he thinks and what he says about my S. So I'm not gonna to talk to you very much about the history and the evolution of the Evora because James is actually really technically very good and I'm sure he'll be telling you all about the history, how it was designed, how it came about and the big differences between the 400 and the S. Also, I have a, a goldfish seven second memory, so most facts I'm quite likely to get wrong, so I'm not even gonna bother trying to do that. <laughs> One main thing is obviously it has 400 horsepower as opposed to the 345 that my S has. Oh, sport mode, sport mode. Where the hell is the sport mode, sport? There we go. Ah. Oh. Already that's addressing one of my top concerns, which is noise. I can already tell this, this is... Oh, this sounds really good. Oh my God. Driving position feels quite different to mine, but I think that's in large part due to oh, the fact that he's got aftermarket seats. So these are also lower in the car, so they give you more room. Oh my God. I need a louder exhaust on my car. God, it sounds so, so dull in comparison. Oh, this is just proving to me that I'm totally right. That what my car needs is a decent exhaust. Apart from that, straight off I can say that Oh, it really, this feels more responsive than my S. God, the sound of the engine is making, it makes so much difference. I just can't, I hope you'll be able to hear it through my crappy mics. Oh, those little downshifts. Sorry, I'm getting well overexcited. <laughs> the suspension feels even more sort of pliant than it does on mine. And if possible, the steering's probably slightly more direct. Gear change is quite a bit better. It's, it's similar to mine, but it's just minus the notchiness. Well, this is pretty stunning, this car. Really is a step up. It really addresses all the weak points on the S. wise it actually feels more settled as well which is something that surprises me I didn't think there would be that much in it and the chassis the steering just feels more direct a lot of this could have to do with the fact that the wheels and tires well not the wheels <laughs> that the tires I have on my car are old and I think that could explain some of it I knew the engine would feel better. It just feels like a more mature car as well though. Now interior wise, it's actually a mixed bag for me. I, I prefer some of the switch gear, which my S has. It's got like solid aluminium sort of dials and stuff. These heater dials, for example, I don't think they're an improvement necessarily. They're not that nice to use. They're not quite as solid as the milled aluminium ones that are in the S. But ergonomically and the way it looks, this is just 
you know it's a more it's a more solid it's a more solid it's a more economically decent design it has to be said it just feels more like a modern real car It does feel like it has more go, but not dramatically so. I suppose an extra 50 horsepower, I don't know. The fact that it's making more noise in itself actually makes quite a bit of difference and, and makes it feel, you know, makes it feel quicker than it actually is compared to the S. But yes, it is quicker, um, but it's not mind blowing. And I don't really have that much of a problem with the actual pace on my car. It's more just the noise of it. But God, this does drive really, really well. These Cobra seats that James has in it, they're lovely. They're actually less padded. They're, um, they're actually harder than the Recaros that I have on mine. Never gonna get tired of that noise. So, the next bit of news is that whatever it costs, I'm gonna have to change the exhaust on my Evora. I was, I was sort of saying, well, look, if it's got a third cat, I'll do the cat bypass, and then you know that will be enough. If it doesn't have a third cat, I'm not gonna tinker with the actual bat box because it's too expensive. But after having driven this and seeing the difference that the noise makes, I'm like, no. I can't keep it as it is. I've got to sort out that, that noise on mine. James mentioned that there's a bit more space in the pedal box there as well. So I think he's right. I think it just feels a little bit more comfortable. And like you're, there's a bit of a twist in the seating position of the S. But again, that could be to do with the seat the fact that you're lower does improve the, the, the position. Perfect for like heel and towing, the way the pedals are, are, are spaced. One last thing to mention is looks. The Evora to me, I, I love the way the S looks, but to, there is something not quite right about some of the angles. I think it looks perfect from some, but just not quite right, especially from the front. It doesn't look bad, but it just doesn't quite work. On these, on the 400s, they've definitely made some improvements. I think particularly the front end of the car. But I have to say that I actually prefer the back of my car compared to this. Maybe, I don't know, maybe that's, I mean, that's a personal preference thing, but they've obviously sharpened up the back of these, introduced more spoilers and edges. And I quite like the bulbous sort of back end of, of the S, which, you know, harks back to the first Elises. I like that big sort of round bum um, that those have. Back in my old Evora and it turned out in some ways the way I was thinking it would and in some ways not so on the whole did did love James's 400 it's just a step above the S um, but I'm relieved to say that I do still really like this I'm still really happy I've got it I haven't suddenly thought oh my god what a piece of shit but some of the main differences are also to do with things that he has done to his car so for example, the seat change means you sit a lot lower and you actually correct the seating position, which I can't quite do on this, because if I put the wheel down as low as I want, it starts sort of getting too close to my knees. Other than that, thank you very much, James. He's a really good guy. Make sure that you check out his channel, JM on Cars. His video and his review of my car is gonna follow up now. It's gonna pop up. So make sure you click on that and you have a look. Thank you all very much for watching. Please make sure that you subscribe to my Instagram and Facebook and so on for more up to the minute information. And um, I look forward to seeing you for the next one.